Hey guys, Claire Pear is here. Today, we'll be doing an oil change on this Honda TRX-90. Here's all you'll need to perform this procedure. A 17mm socket and ratchet, a quart or two of oil, we're using 10W30, a catch can of some sort, catch the old motor oil coming out, and some funnels would be nice. The first step to changing the oil is to go warm the engine up, so we're gonna go take this for a little ride. So I'll go ahead and tip it up on its back so we can see the underside and I'll point out where the drain plug is. Okay, so now it's flipped up and the drain plug is this one right here. We'll tip it back down on the ground, take this bolt out, let the oil drain out. We got our catch can in place and we're going to undo the drain bolt. The oil is all drained out so now we're going to reinstall the drain plug. Okay, we got the quad back down with the drain bolt installed, and now it's time to fill it with fresh oil. Okay, the next step is to fill it up. The dipstick is located right here, back behind the plastic in this little crack that's really hard to get to, because Honda was so nice to locate the dipstick in a really accessible place. You can barely fit the dipstick out past this plastic here. Like I said, the funnel can barely fit in there. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but that looks pretty good right there on the dipstick. So we're going to go ahead and start it up for a couple seconds to get the oil to circulate through and then check it after it rests for a minute. Okay, after running it for a couple seconds, we're going to go ahead and let it sit to let all the oil drain down to the bottom. And after a minute or two, we'll do a final oil check. Okay, it's been a minute, so we'll do the final oil check. I don't know if you can see that, but it's about halfway up the checkered area, so we could add just a little bit more. That's right up there to the top, so that's looking really good. We're going to go ahead and leave it like that and call it good. And remember that after you start it to check for oil leaks to make sure the drain plugs back in good. And it looks like we're fine. No drips at all underneath here. Okay guys, and with that, we're done. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, when you tighten down your drain bolt, you'll strip it out. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.